what can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. But what can I give him? Give him my heart. During the past two weeks, we've been telling the story of the fourth wise man. When we left him, he was only three hours away from where he will meet his three friends when he comes across a wounded man. If he stops to help him, he might miss his friends. What should he do? He had no choice. He knelt down by the man and gave him water, used some of his medicines from his own supply and treated his wounds. Hour after hour he tended his patient as he lingered between life and death. As dawn approached, the man finally was out of danger. But he would need further help. So Artaban took him to the nearby village, reached into his bag and gave the innkeeper whatever money he had left for his care. But now it was well past the time that he was to meet up with his friends. Oh dear. He rode on swift Vasta at breakneck speed. Finally, there is the temple of the Seven Spheres. But the place is empty. No one is there. He spots a note attached to the door. It said, we can wait no longer. We go to find the king. Follow us across the desert if you're able. Artaban sat down. It was impossible. His horse was exhausted. He would have to hire a camel to cross the desert. But he'd got no money left. What could he do? With sadness, he reached into his tunic, into the secret pocket, and took out the sapphire, the sapphire that was as blue as the sky. He had hoped to give it as a gift to the child born to be king, but now he had to sell it to buy food and a camel for the journey across the wide wilderness. So he began the journey that would take him across the burning desert. The days were hot and bright from the intensity of the sun. At night, darkness brought cold and loneliness. At each oasis, he inquired about his three friends. And always the word was, oh yes, they passed by several days ago. After several weeks, he arrived at the outskirts of Bethlehem in Judea. Now, he said, I shall see the king and I shall offer him the pearl of purity and the ruby of royalty. Next week, we'll see what happened to him in Bethlehem. Have you any guesses about what happened to him there? Of course, Artaban can't leave the injured man without stopping to help him. But that wastes time. So, let's put the water jar on because he's given him some water. But now, in order to catch up with his friends, he needs something faster than his horse. His poor old horse is tired after all that journeying. And so, Artaban takes his sapphire, blue as a sky, and he sells it. And with the money, he buys a camel so that he can get to the temple quickly.
there he is on his rather bandy legged looking camel and he's heading for the temple of the seven spheres now there, there's a choice of two temples there's that one which is sort of cloudy and rather mysterious and there's that one which is nice and bright and clear so whichever one you choose it doesn't matter choose the one you like best I like that one I should put that one on there and what happens when he gets to the temple he finds they've had to go without him so I've done a, a little notice to go on there And so off he goes, heading towards Bethlehem. Here's Bethlehem at night. Again, it's another long journey. It doesn't look it there, but it is. Artaban's journey is full of problems. It's a bit like our lives sometimes. So instead of a prayer, we've got something to think about. God never said the journey through life would be easy or the road free of stones and the sky always blue. But he does promise that our journey through life will be worth it and that he will travel with us wherever our road leads us. See you next time.